I'm Anthony Santiago. I'm Felix Colazzo. And, and this, this is, is Salty Jobs. Jobs. Hi, I'm Captain Sandy, and you're watching Salty Jobs. And if you like what you see, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss an episode of the incredible jobs that keep the marine industry moving. We're here at Cuyago Americas Incorporated here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Known as the Seabob Company, they specialize in building high-performance luxury sea toys and serve as an exclusive distributor for Seabobs in the Americas. Today, we're gonna step into the repair shop and check out the technology behind the Seabob. Then we'll hit the road and see what it's like to work a real showcase event. Lastly, I'm gonna try one out for myself. So what do you think, Anthony? You ready to jump in? Yeah, let's get bobbing. I'm here with Giuseppe, who's a service manager here at Cuyago Americas Incorporated. So, can you tell me a little bit about your background? How did you find yourself working here? And is there anything you recommend for someone who wants to work on CBOPS to get in their background? Yeah, my background is from the car industry. And uh, I started working for Cuyago two years ago. Any candidate that wants to apply as a technician in CBOP Cuyago, knowledge about battery, uh, electronic, electric components, a big plus. We give a two weeks training after that, they're gonna be okay to work in the CBOB. And I know that CBOBs, they have lots of great technology. They can be pretty complicated. Does that make any challenges for you guys here in the shop as far as repairs go? No, absolutely no. No, any, any problem, any issue in order to repair the CBOB. And as far as maintenance go, I know you guys do a lot of things to make sure that these last a long time. Can you go into some of that? And what do you recommend for people to maintain them themselves? Well, it's pretty easy to maintain the SIBO. The most important thing is after it being used, it needs to be rinsed very well and uh, keep the battery on charge all the time. Uh, that's the main issue about the SIBO in order to maintain properly. And I know that there's actually a CBOB that needs our attention in the shop. Are you ready to get to repairing that? Let's go. We're working on a Seabob F5SR. This one had a fishing line jammed in the impeller, so we needed to access the drive shaft to replace it. First, we used a special key to take off the outer shell, then got to work with the drill to remove the screws. Some of them were corroded by salt water, causing them to lock in place and making them a little difficult to take out. Once we got the batteries exposed, Giuseppe pulled back the prongs holding them in while I removed the batteries. We rigged them up with some cords to keep them safe and sound while we worked. After removing another set of screws, we were able to lift the drive shaft and electronic box. With everything out of the way, we swapped out the drive shaft and got the C-Bob back on track and ready to hit the water again. I'm here with Stacy at C-Bob. Stacy, can you please tell me a little bit more about the road shows? Because they sound really exciting. Uh, how much fun is incorporated? How many challenges are you guys experiencing? Absolutely. It is a lot of fun and not without its challenges. We start months ahead planning the logistics of the route, uh, each town we're going to visit, getting permits for the city, for the water, for the park. It's just the most fun you could possibly have and we can do that anywhere with our roadshow truck. Tell me about the roadshow truck, because that is amazing. I mean, we pack it full. It, it's a truck with our logo, Seabob, down the side. When you open it up, it, it, it's just fun. We've got our Seabobs lined down each side. We inflate a bunch of uh, Aquabana inflatables. We have like a floating city, which allows people to see the fun, kind of go, what's that? Come over to it. Uh, we sign a little waiver telling them what they're going to do get them in the water, and, and then it just creates smiles. Tell me about that experience. What is, what is it like using a CBOB? Who is it really made for? It, it is designed for everybody. Anybody who loves water loves a thrill, because without a doubt, it is a thrill. Anybody can use a CBOB. You're going to hang on, use a couple switches to go faster, slower, lean to the left, lean to the right. But without a doubt, every single time you come up, and you look at me, you are smiling, and, and that's why we do it. That's really why we do it. Now nah, I'm excited. Do you see the sigh of relief? Because I'm about You're to try one. Smile. I'm about to try You're one. Smiling, yes. All right, so let's go. Let's, let's get, go do it. Let's go do it. For every event, there's plenty of prep behind the scenes. During its in-water test, it's linked to a computer that tracks key data like battery health and system diagnostics to ensure it's ready for action. Once at the event, we unload the sea bobs using dollies, making transport to the water easy. 
Stacy walks me through the controls to make sure I know how to control the C-Bob. Steering is as simple as tilting the C-Bob in the direction that you want to go. After a bit of practice, it felt like flying through the water. Attendees are in for a blast. We're here in Cayago, America. I said it wrong immediately. <laughs> We're here at Cayago Americas Incorporated. We're here at Cayago America. I, I missed the last line. I, I was like, I'm not. <laughs>